So the other day I was looking at my solar panel and suddenly I had this thought that is, does a solar panel actually get warmer when it's not being used? So this might seem a little counterintuitive because most of the time things actually warm up when they get used, right? When something is being used, it tends to warm up and not the other way around. So why would a solar panel get warmer when it's disconnected? Well, a solar panel, of course, is a device that converts sunlight, radiation, uh, to electricity. And like any other device that converts one type of energy into another, it's not 100% efficient. So I believe a solar panel is about 20% you know, efficient, something like that, which means that only 20% of the solar energy that hits the panel ends up being converted to electricity. And the remaining 80% is converted to heat, you know, it's used to heat up the solar panel, uh, because of course a solar panel warms up just like any other object that you put in the sun. Uh, and also a part of it is reflected, right? The solar panel is also reflecting some light because, you know, we're able to see it. So that's clear evidence that it also reflects some of the light. But then, in theory, if you disconnect the solar panel and no longer draw any electricity from it, you effectively reduce its efficiency to 0%, right? Because it's still being exposed to the same amount of sunlight, the same amount of solar energy, but you're no longer drawing any electricity from it. You're not removing any energy from it uh, in the form of electricity. And so in theory, it's going to heat up more. It's going to get warmer. So now the question is, how do we test this? So the first thing I had in mind was, you know, I just measure the temperature of the solar panel with some kind of thermometer. Uh, then I'll switch it off and I'll wait for a little bit and, and see if it gets warmer. As simple as that. The problem with that is that, you know, as the day progresses, it tends to get a little bit warmer outside anyway. And so it might be difficult to tell, you know, depending on how big the difference in temperature is going to be, it might be difficult to tell if the increase in temperature is caused by the effect that we just discussed, or if it just warmed up because, you know, it got a bit warmer outside. So instead, I opted to do it the other way around. So what I wanted to do was uh, switch the solar panel off let it warm up, monitor its temperature, then switch it back on and see if it cools down. Because of course, the solar panel cooling down when it gets switched back on is the equivalent of the solar panel heating up when you switch it off. So here's how it went. Okay, so step one, this is the, uh, the back end system that is attached to the solar panel, particularly this charge controller right here. Uh, we can turn off the entire system by operating this switch. So right now the solar panel, uh, and also the wind turbine, but it's, it's not really windy today, so that doesn't matter anyway, uh, it's all turned off. So we're no longer drawing any power from the solar panel, except for maybe, you know, powering this tiny little LED right here, but I, I suppose that's not going to make a difference. Then when it was about 2 o'clock in the afternoon, I went to record the temperature of the solar panel. All right, so it's the middle of the day. Uh, here we are at the solar panel. It's been, uh, it's been warming up nicely. I've got my IR thermometer, and now we're gonna see um, just how warm it is. All right, now let's go back inside and uh, switch it back on. So the solar panel's now back online. Uh, now we're just gonna wait for, let's say, half an hour, and then we're gonna come back and see if it's cooled down. And so after half an hour, I came back to the solar panel once again and recorded the temperatures.
So just in case you didn't quite catch that on the video, here's a table that contains all the results from our tests. As you can see in the second test, which is with the solar panel being active, the temperatures are noticeably lower than in the first test. So the theory has been confirmed, although I wouldn't call this test you know, very scientific, uh, but I did repeat this test a couple of times and I got similar results. So I got lower temperature, noticeably lower temperatures with the solar panel being turned on. So it's quite cool to see that this theory actually seems to apply in the real world. To be honest, I didn't expect this to work this well because I'd expected the, the difference in temperature to be much, much smaller and much more difficult to detect. Um, but, you know, apparently it wasn't. It was, you know, multiple degrees. It was actually a very significant, very noticeable difference in temperature. So I'm quite pleased with that. Anyway, I really hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Uh, and of course, thank you for watching.